I started in that systems technology program and they allow three MBA type electives. And I figured, well, if I'm taking these three, I might as well just finish the rest so I have an MBA also, since it wouldn't take too much longer if I just take a few extra at a time. I took up to 12 hours as a graduate student, so it was typically two MBA and two systems technology courses each a semester. Sometimes it's, it's a real different shift, but a lot of times it helps because some of the topics you're learning in one course are applicable to the other program, like data analysis, uh, a course I was taking in the MBA program, I used a lot of the techniques to be able to make charts and graphs from my microbial fuel cell project. Microbial fuel cells are a system that treats wastewater, taking advantage of microorganisms that, that break down the chemical energy found in wastewater. And it, it's very promising because a lot of the wastewater treatment methods used, they require so much energy and it's cost intensive, but this method, it actually produces energy in some situations and you can also configure it to yield other bioproducts as well. In addition to the two master's degrees, I still have several part-time jobs. I've been teaching at SLCC as an adjunct instructor. I've been working as a carpenter's assistant for uh, the past four years and, and a, a graduate teaching and research assistant with the university. So a lot of the days I could go from five in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. I had applied for an industry job in an energy related sector. That's what I've been looking towards. But I've also had the, the goal deep in my mind to teach. And if that goes through, I'll go with it. And it'll be after August, after I finish my assistantship and my other master's degree. We'll see what happens. My life tends to plan itself, so I just sit back and enjoy the ride.